नमस्कार वेलकम टू नाइन ओ क्लॉक लाइव ओके सी टुडे आई हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट पतंजलि आई डिड एन एडिटोरियल ऑन पतंजलि एंड हाउ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्लैम्ड पतंजलि आई डिड एन एडिटोरियल टू डेज बैक देन व्हाई एम आई डूइंग दिस शो टुडे नो आई हैव नो स्पेशल लव फॉर पतंजलि नॉर डू आई वांट टू टॉक मच अबाउट पतंजलि बट देयर इज अ रीजन व्हाई आई एम डूइंग टुडे शो द रीजन आई एम डूइंग टुडे शो इज बिकॉज़ यू सी इट इज एन अदर पर्सपेक्टिव that the country needs to know are baap re country needs to know sounds weird i think <laughs> but yeah there is a perspective that you know the country actually needs to know and that perspective is you see companies like patanjali brands like patanjali humiliate our country they humiliate ayurveda when we think about china what do we think fake product chinese product bad product why because there are few companies which spoiled the name of china so therefore i thought i wanted to do another show and this time around i wanted to get an expert an expert in brands an expert in marketing i wanted to get an expert's view and that is why today i am going to talk to an expert and that is tarun chauhan and uh, let's get right into the show and talk to him before we get into the Tarun thank you so much for coming thank you so much for coming and uh, how are you very good sujit good to see you likewise tarun i want to ask you a very simple question how badly has patanjali harmed indian brands harmed brand india i i think more than brand india it is affected the category you know every category the uh, has certain coding and people believe in those codings of that category if you look at two wheelers mileage uh, you know brand say things in that space people believe it go put money behind it uh, cosmetic brands beauty brands consumer brands i think what have, what patanjali has done is uh, people have lost faith in ayurveda okay now to bring that faith back is not going to be easy uh because when you get questioned at that level at that at that topmost level and the questioning was not very fair it was quite tough uh, people were summoned people were got to the court those are not good optics for any category i mean imagine uh, a, a telecom sunil mittal getting called to a supreme court for something happening in telecom billing for instance people will start losing faith in the whole billing system of telecom correct uh so these are not good optics and ayurveda and yoga two very india centric offerings globally it will have impact this is traveling all over the world because he was the brand ambassador he used to go around talking about it everywhere he did yoga and sold his products now when you get questioned it's like it's like your brand ambassador getting caught doing something wrong for your brand it will have serious implications yeah so i mean the the supreme court was very fair wasn't it i mean you going out and saying that you know uh, you are a best supplement to covid no, no, corona is the best supplement sujit i am i am a, i am actually quite amazed that as a nation we have kept quiet for so long and we had a supreme court to intervene because there are enough uh, government bodies who are supposed to intervene there is an fda there is you know there are multiple bodies nobody is intervening finally supreme court has intervened can you believe it government body is endorsed it at one point i think india medical association objected correct they are the yes. ones actually they are the ones actually filed the case in the court uh, the doctors association whatever they are called correct i am just saying uh, you can't take anything put it put into a bottle and tell the world it is working it doesn't work like that you know in pharmaceutical world in cosmetic world in any product development world there's a rigorous process of testing of checking talking to consumers does the consumer want it does he not want it i mean you can't put anything in a bottle put a label on it and go and hawk it i mean what are you talking how does it work like that i think it is so dangerous and it is so wrong and we don't even know people who got negative uh, impact with that because it's not been covered see also I am, the i am sorry, a, i am a huge non believer of this whole thing okay 
uh, not for anything else i just think it's not scientifically proved and if you are slightly educated you would like to see things scientifically proved see it is not just about coronel it is also about the fact that he has been making claims or the company he know the company has been making claims uh, especially against allopathy yeah, claims yeah. which are absolutely falsified yeah yeah absolutely i totally agree with you how can you question the medical fraternity yaar you may have a point of view against them you can i mean there are enough and more people who talk about don't take uh, blood pressure medicines do this do that i'm fine with that okay uh, people may choose not choose their call but to actually demonize a whole industry is so wrong I mean, what i know so many people sujit who have got into serious trouble getting into alternate therapy consuming all kind of stupid medicines and then finally they are in critical stage and they take into hospital i won't take names here but some of the big names are recently in hospital getting cured all these people who make fun of doctors and their treatments are actually going back to all india institute of medical science and getting treated i mean you know as a nation we need to get out of this whole uh, you know this mumbo jumbo medicine stuff it is wrong it is fundamentally wrong and See, it insults the intellectuals sorry while none of us sorry none of us disagree to the fact that ayurveda is a fantastic stream of medicine and it is a good stream of medicine it has works and it works for a lot of uh, disease but that does not mean that you know to promote ayurveda you 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 go out and uh, uh, you know uh, talk ill about allopathy or homeopathy or whatever I mean, See, that ayurveda no no sujit ayurveda has been your grandmother's treatment for millions of years uh, and we can't take that away okay natural body shop is the world's largest brand that sells natural products okay world's largest but they put up their products based on certain scientific evidence uh, they are they are like ayurveda only body shop uh, but you can't here he puts anything in a bottle and sells here and he, he, he talks about treating critical uh, illnesses like covid tuberculosis cancer what are you talking and patients consume it because they have faith in him and then they become critical and they take him to hospital tarun tell me let us now get this get into a little deeper uh, in, into this you see uh, ramdev became what he is or or claims to be what he is or almost manifest the way as if nothing can happen to him he manifests as you know once i guess he had made a statement that you know who will do what to me types now the thing is what are we saying here i am promoting yoga i am promoting ayurveda which is part of hindu hindutva sanatan dharma and therefore i am invincible in india therefore the whole political system the whole administrative system will support me and nothing will happen to me isn't that what is all culminating to so there are two parts to the to your question part one is yoga i think what he has done for yoga is fantastic let's not derail that part of the conversation what he has done is with his yoga yoga ka yoga act he's added he's done a brand extension and he's gone to treatment and that is where he's gone completely wrong and what has happened by default is that he has projected himself as being very close to the establishment Uh, he he not he launched noodles uh, sujit they he launched noodles. jeans no i understand jeans are still okay you're wearing it imagine noodles you you launch noodles ramdev noodles i mean at what level have you gone have you ever gone through what nestle does what is the testing process how are the noodles made nothing you just find one third party vendor catch him make some noodles put in a packet and sell it it's a different matter it didn't work but i'm just saying how do these things happen it is only happens because the the bureaucracy and the people who are supposed to audit have the have a latent impression that this guy is very close to the power to be so nobody is questioning him nobody is talking to him and he he is like god complete god and the powers to be have also uh, ample times ample times ample occasions established that he is very close to them yeah yeah, yeah. obviously but nothing it is yeah. yeah it's a give and take deal 
it's a community so event. Me, so tell me, uh, 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 Tarun, we in our days, we for us, creativity used to be a huge thing, a big thing. There was a lot of effort that went into creativity, went into creative, went into making good creative and all of that. See, today, if I want to make a film, all I need to do is uh, uh, add a little bit of Hindutva or I add a little bit of uh, uh, a particular kind of ideology, package it maybe blame another community maybe make some other community villain and that is creativity for me and i launch it i in fact go out of my way i go out of my way to ask people that you are not watching me i made uh, the your ideology film you see nay that uh, filmmaker goes and out says or you are not watching it i made our ideology film why didn't you watch it so what is it now what does it all come to in india Tarun? Is it all See, about politics? So marketing, fundamentally, is a very serious business. Because in marketing, you're selling something to someone who has a need for it. You first identify the need. Then you create something that will fulfill the need. Here, it's the other way around. Here, you set an agenda and then go about hawking it. The problem is nobody is buying into it because that's not the need. That's what they believe is the need. But actually, that's not the need. Four big Bollywood films have tanked which were based on these philosophies. Now, I, I feel bad for the guys who put money on it. Each of them is 10, 12, 15 crore films. They've all gone on the pipe. They have made no money. Somebody is losing money. And then you can't blame the world for it. The film industry is not supporting me. People are not... Are, why will people come and watch your stuff here? People want three hours of entertainment. They don't want three hours of lecture. Okay? And that is the problem. That is the complete problem. Now tell me if the brand extension that you spoke about uh, from yoga to Ayurveda and then to sell noodles, if the brand extension goes that way, isn't this a brand extension of our political system? It is. It is. It is a whole collective agenda that everyone is trying to fulfill. And once you fulfill some part of the agenda, then you're close. You get recognized. You get acknowledged. Then somebody will call you. I think it's all very complicated. That's why if you look at the... Uh, if you look at the uh, corporate world, I think they become very conscious. They become very careful. They don't say a lot of things. Everything is very ready. So, yeah. But who, actually, the best part is the marketing world is also scared to who to sign as brand ambassadors. They think four times now. <laughs> because you don't know what will happen on the set. Who will say what? Who will get into what trouble? So everything has become very, very complicated now. It's not simple anymore. See, the unfortunate part, Tarun, isn't it that, the, isn't the unfortunate part that uh, therefore it is going to reflect on everything that we, like you said, the category, Ayurveda, India, isn't that going to reflect and most important, Hinduism, isn't that also going to at some point affect yeah. the uh, religion? You know, Hinduism is a very philosophical uh, religion. It is a very, very deep and a philosophical religion. And I'm a believe, I'm a follower. I'm a believer. I'm a practitioner. Correct? So for me to someone, if someone lectures me in Hinduism, it doesn't sit with me very well. You don't do certain things. They happen naturally. It's a five, six thousand crore uh, year old religion. You can't change the narrative in 10 years and 15 years. Right? It doesn't work like that. You have to give it its space. It will flourish. It will grow. It's been growing. But tell me, isn't this all stemming from the fact that uh, brand Bharatiya Janata Party could use Hinduism to their advantage? And look at where the brand is today. Isn't that coming from they that used fact? It. I mean, it, is, it is a no-brainer. Any child on the road will tell you that they, they are using it day in and day out. And there are people who are getting carried away. It's a, it's a journey. It's a process. At some stage, people will realize. See, finally you have to pay your bills, Sujit. Finally you have to pay your bills. All this is fine. End of the day, the middle class guy has to pay his daughter's fees. He has to run his house. There, nobody will help you. You have to go and that's life. So and tell me, be... so tell me, isn't and this uh, Hindutva uh, or this agenda, this entire branding agenda getting carried away to even Congress? Today, well, uh, Gaurav Vallabh, one spokesperson of Congress, very vociferous person, 
he quit and he said that you know i no longer want to say anything against the sanatan dharma which means all this while he was saying against the sanatan dharma because he was getting benefited from congress now he decided oh i will not say now he will say against something else i guess so now tell me isn't isn't this now spreading everywhere i i find a lot of congress is using it isn't up using hinduism so what is wrong as long as you don't use it for political gains what is wrong so why do you think up is using it for social gains no no i don't think so aap is a hindutva party okay i don't think so congress is a hindutva party they are as a brand not a hindutva brand uh, bjp is a clear cut hindutva brand yeah they use this whole thing for political gains no but the point is if because uh, bharatiya janata party is using it uh, don't to be very fair because bharatiya janata party is using it all of a sudden there is aap which says that i am going to send people to tirth yatra Uh, there is all of a sudden uh, 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 works, Sujit. In marketing, it doesn't work. Whether if you look at any anyone with little common sense, every brand in every category appropriates a USP. Okay, that's the way it works. Uh, if you look at telecom, Airtel owns network. Vodafone owns something else. In politics, BJP owns Hindutva. Anyone saying anything else about that subject will get them no benefit. If anything, it the benefit will go to the category leader, which is BJP. Absolutely. So this is the know, point I wanted to make. Yeah, yeah. correct. By Very well said. That means people to temples and you trying to behave like a better Hindu are waste. It won't get you anywhere. If anything, it will actually derail your your brand image. Yeah, you can do it. I mean, all of us are Hindus. Uh, do it. Do it in your own little way. Why do you need to make a circus out of it? You don't fit into that 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 structure. you know in a in a in a larger philosophy tarun you know i remember i was talking to professor ram punyani a few days back yeah he is brilliant brilliant man you know he told me a very important thing he said you see he said till such time that a religion is used for morality a religion is used as a way of life it's beautiful the moment you use a religion to convert that into and convert that into a gain a political gain a marketing gain a sales gain a, 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 a money gain gainer it 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 completely destroys it isn't that something similar historically it's been like that as long as the romans were were ruling they were brilliant the moment ramesses came and he started this whole christianity thing the roman empire fell so the, you know you need to understand that religion and life are two very different things people need to live their life which is they go earn their bread they run their families religion is part of that it makes them better human beings better people but the moment it becomes a transaction then the problem starts then the problem starts and so if religion and itself becomes business then that's what i'm saying it becomes a transaction then the problem starts that you can't sustain that can last only till a certain time that has no shelf value are you predicting something are you predicting that uh, 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 bharatiya janata party and whatever they have created will only last for a certain time and it will not have a 100% yeah i mean you don't have to look at me i am not a guy who is predicting it is historical evidence look what happened to the whole uh, middle east right wing movements they all start going away people get people can't deal with it beyond a point you can't be fighting within your family with your friends uh, in your family groups this has become a 24/7 war yaar yeah. it'll all stop at some stage people will say dig- digressing a little digress sorry digressing a little uh, i don't think bharatiya janata party got as much as uh, uh, mileage that it thought it would oppose the ram janmabhoomi ram temple uh, consecration why do you think it didn't work i think the my personal this is my personal view okay i mean i don't think people in bjp like it i don't think they should have inaugurated the temple before 24 they they just let the cat out of the bag people have seen the inauguration they're done with it they're very happy two days they said jai shri ram after that everyone has moved on their life but if the temple was not inaugurated then they would have had that usp saying in 26 we're going to inaugurate or 25 we're going to inaugurate that would have been still a selling story now it's no more a story now they're talking about mathura they already moved on to mathura so they have okay. realized ram temple is not getting any traction so now they're talking about mathura built mathura get traction 
as in this will this process get traction as a marketing person i see it's a 25 year journey this started in 92 correct i don't even think if you and i'll be there till the journey gets over so i i think it's very far fetched ram mandir and i'm old media tell me with all this hindutva that uh, bharatiya janata party spoke about i will come to congress also it is not that i am only going to focus on bharatiya janata party i will come to congress also but all this hindutva that uh, bharatiya janata party spoke about their ads are not talking about hindutva their ads are some tacky comical they also realized, they have also realized. Uh, it's not that they have not realized they have tried everything that sengol happened in the parliament that didn't work then they tried something else in some that underwater that some puja did, did that didn't work then they went to ayodhya and tried something that didn't work then they went to some south indian temple recently and did something that didn't work see they also have people in the in the organization who are tracking what's going on it's not working the youth are not picking it up youth are just saying give us jobs they are, they are just not reacting to it they are just standing up and saying give us work we have no work 36% of iit kharagpur kids did not get placed this year 36% iit kharagpur iit kharagpur their placements are 900% not even 100 i mean people stand outside the gate hiring those kids the, the our problems are completely different boss fair enough so if that is the case now let us come to congress okay uh, what is congress doing is are they uh, the 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 alternative are they the solution to the current problem congress is ad and since we are talking about marketing i stick to ads congress is ad some dabbe mein ghee and all that i mean is that even real how could they do it i tell you problem with uh, bjp bjp's biggest problem is bjp bjp will lose because of bjp bjp will win because of bjp bjp will not lose because of congress because congress just doesn't get the act together uh, they they start off with something very good and then they derail it i think the bureaucracy derails the whole process the advertising they are doing currently is so bad correct uh, i agree but, yeah but 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 to give them the benefit those five pillars of nyay that they have created is very good uh, so at least they are not going down the path of they are better hindus or we will build more temples they are giving an alternate view if bjp has a point of view they are giving an alternate view an alternate view is about those philo- four pillars of pr nyay if they can market that well i think they have got they've got some hope see sir that's precise the other thing the other thing sujit hmm. today the elections in 24 is no more about religion over 24 elections is about stomach salary income livelihood that is a 24 election that is why if you realize the narratives are getting more and more sharper towards these things and congress needs to understand that if they get their act together and telling the story properly they have hope tarun i just want to answer this gentleman uh, normally i don't do this but i want to answer this gentleman he says what sort of thumbnail have you put uh, for attracting more viewers polish of you sujit I, I, a, uh, you know what? Uh, I, we don't normally don't use thumbnails to attract viewers and all that. The people who view us come and view us. We are grace, grateful for that, and that is grace of God. That is number one. Number two is what is so foolish about what we wrote? I don't think you saw the starting of the uh, program. We very categorically said why we believe that Patanjali will harm the brand India. Patanjali will harm brand Ayurveda, and Patanjali will harm brand. Uh, 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 Indian FMCG products. They will harm it. It is not just about the contempt of court. It is beyond contempt of court. It is harming the brand. That is what we were talking about, and that's precisely what our thumbnail says. So, if you haven't seen it, you I would advise you to see it, or uh, you can decide not to. So, frame just so that I can answer your question. Thank you so much. Coming back, uh, Tarun, why why would why would uh, why would A, a party like Congress not talk about those guys. Why would they not talk about what the idea last, is good? I think in the last four five days or one week ten days they started talking about it. Uh, but I I just think they talk they are so fragmented. Uh, unless they talk like the way BJP does, I think the BJP machinery is fantastic. 
uh, when when something is started from the top it goes down to the last worker on the ground in bjp in congress everyone does their own little thing uh, they you know yesterday i saw a press conference of kharge and he launched those schemes those five pillars i am yet to see even one congress guy tweeting it correct i am yet to see and i'm talking of guys i'm not talking of the karyakarta types i'm talking of big leaders okay guys who are contesting elections on congress tickets i'm yet to see even one of them retweeting it or talking about it no they won't do it they, they it's a very and you know sujit uh, now the battle is about how you disseminate your information it's no more about mr modi or mr rahul gandhi because i think both of them have done their bit now it's a bjp versus non bjp fight and who can narrate the story properly it is storytelling correct correct and the correct. and bjp knows how to tell a story you see i coming back to our topic you see people like baba ramdev has been made into a brand ambassador isn't it because how the moment you think of ramdev you think of bharatiya janata party the no, moment no, no. you think it's a, it's a it's a beautiful point you are making okay yeah. it's a lovely point 2014 bjp won the election on corruption hmm. they blamed the whole congress system corrupt coal coal scam yes scam was scam karke they came to power 2019 it was that bal court or whatever that that thing happened correct it became all nationalism and india of india and all that 2024 yet they don't have an issue if you actually look at it and they are not look using godman this time there is no sadguru there is no ramdev you see don't see any of those fellows they are they are now focusing they will realize that the indian youth don't want to hear deal with all that they are also looking at a a narrative which is more towards employment towards growth towards jobs uh, and that's what mr modi is doing he is talking about 5 lakhs in your account so it it i think the the narrative even bjp is trying to figure out now see i i i just want to uh, put a question of a viewer and i think uh, what he is uh, trying to say is absolutely correct he says i find it very disturbing that how social media like instagram becomes a manipulation tool for current ruling party for propaganda uh, which targets youngsters so mainstream media is uh, in control of bjp so yeah i mean in a way look at uh, how beautifully uh, uh, social media is handled but uh, hari let me tell you something Uh, so uh, tarun with uh, uh, your permission let me just also make a point here uh, to hari that hari social media is open to everybody na even no, congress no, can do it different the way i'll reply to hari is slightly different hmm my, my my response to hari is very simple if bjp is using these tools beautifully to their advantage correct yes what is stopping congress doing it well, precisely that is what i was saying yeah they they, they just don't want to invest in the right people to help them get all this in order this is not rocket science this any 19 year old kid will tell you how to do it correct any 19 so year old kid correct so hari uh, uh, while we agree to what you are saying what you are saying is listen you know what stops for the other uh, party to do it i mean it's it's absolutely uh, simple so tarun coming back to our uh, point of discussion you know uh, one has to hand it over to a party that is whatever right wrong or otherwise but the way it is de- designed its entire campaign designed its entire uh, uh, usp and that usp it spread uh, across uh, the country it is it is uh, it's 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 done a fairly good job but what you are saying today is that this may not last much because this uh, campaign may not last much this may not work and what you said today i completely agree maybe that is the reason why a lot of their current campaigns does not have the flavor of hinduism or the remember the last year's camp last uh, 19th campaign ghar pe ghus ke marenge and all that all yeah. that has has as as taken back seat now they are getting into other uh, uh, thought processes uh, 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 so uh, uh, hari says uh, bjp has good resource so therefore uh, i guess uh, they can do it hari it's not the question of resource it's the question of just the will to do it tarun tell me uh, not not only the will you also need to understand the technology correct this is not a this is not a mom and pop act correct this has to be done by people who understand the game and the guy who runs that bjp thing amit Mal- malviya we may like him or we dislike him 
but for last 10 years he's been holding it together beautifully so correct we may like or agree or disagree to whatever he is doing yeah. but uh, yeah he is doing it effectively chalo let's we are talking as marketing people today we are not talking about any ideology that is not what our discussion is so i am sure my audience will understand that we are talking purely as marketing people and let us view this uh, clinically uh, other than getting into any ideology tell me tarun if you were to advise congress okay to get the same kind of mileage okay uh, that bjp has currently they still have got one month to go. What would you advise Congress in the next 30 days? Because this is the most crucial period of politi- of elections. I think in my view, they have a simple task now. See, one good thing about Congress, uh, Sujit, uh, is that Rahul Gandhi has managed to fix his image. So that's not a problem they're dealing with anymore. Nobody calls him Papu. Yeah, that problem is yeah. solved, which means Correct. one headache is less. Uh, even BJP well-wishers don't call him Papu anymore. Uh, because I think he's earned his stripes. He's walked, earned, lamed people, whatever it is, correct? So he's as famous or as popular as Mr. Modi, at least in terms of awareness. May not be in terms of equity, but in awareness. Equity is when you put money on something. Awareness is when you're aware of it, correct? correct. Just to clarify what I'm saying. Correct. So Rahul Gandhi has no awareness problems anymore. He does not have even image problems anymore. He has an equity problem. Is he capable of doing this job? But that's a question you don't need to answer now. You can answer it later. Congress, by default, has got their Nyayaka pillars in order now. Now they just need to sit and figure out how to tell that story. Nothing else. Congress doesn't have a big problem anymore. They they and their 21 alliance partners or whatever they've got need to sit together in one room and say, this is what we're going to say. This is how we're going to say it. And we'll amplify it like this. And stop making those silly ads. They've made some really ridiculous ads. I mean, what were they? What were they thinking? Why? Why would they make such an ad? Why would you make ads showing people in bad light? I don't. I just don't understand these people. Yeah. Who has more brand recall for the naive voters, BJP or Congress? Most voters are naive, aren't they? Uh, 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 you want to answer this before I answer, Mr. Mahapatra Tarun? I think you know, uh, Sujit. <clears throat> a lot of people uh, don't would have forgotten. The India Shining campaign. Okay. It was one of the most powerful and the most well spent campaign, India Shining. It was run by a gentleman called Pramod Mahajan. Correct. And everyone thought that in 2004, Mr. Vajpayee will come back to power. And he lost. So, in my view, and I have been saying this again and again, the most powerful tool the Indian voters got is that vote. They don't talk about it, but they'll exercise it. And when they exercise it, you don't know what they're doing. I mean, look at what happened to Telangana. Nobody thought KCR will lose. Nobody. He just got wiped out. So you you don't know what will happen. I don't think so. The Indian voter is 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 ignorant. They are very aware. They may not have a public display of their affection to anything, but what they do finally is they do. Correct, Tarun. Uh, I know I'm moving away from the topic uh, in hand, but I still want to ask you a question. Yesterday, I was speaking to a very senior Congress leader. And uh, he told me, you see, listen, the problem is that we don't have the kind of uh, mileage. We don't have money uh, to advertise uh, the way possibly uh, BJP can, which I agree. Uh, They said that we don't have media backing us uh, like uh, uh, what BJP has. Mainland media doesn't back us. Mainstream media doesn't back us. They don't even cover our stories. So the only way we can do is go door to door and cover it. And for covering it door to door, we need partners. Now, this is in conflict to what you just said. I'll tell you why it's in conflict. Yeah, they're lazy in... fellows, Sujit. <laughs> they're lazy fellows. Let me tell you, let me tell you today, at least 80% of brands in this country have limited budgets. Swiggy. How many ads of Swiggy have you seen on television? Correct. Correct. You don't see Swiggy ads. Everyone knows about Swiggy, right? When did you see an Uber ad on TV? This whole thing in their mind, no, that TV is their only means to communication is a wrong orientation. Let's sit as a marketing team in a room and say, let's make a media plan without TV in it. You'll find a solution. Yes. We have done it on Hindustan Humor many times in the past. Correct? Yes. You will find a solution. When you, when you, this in the media mix, in the media mix, TV is one of them. There is 20 other ways of doing it. Correct. The problem is they don't have people who can think like that. 
So they blame the whole world for it. If you can't dance, don't blame the floor for it, yar. First go learn how to dance. Correct. See, but TV is a medium. Uh, 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 big ideas normally are done even outside of television. Big ideas. Yeah. Amul yeah. was created through hoardings. Uh, yeah. So just no. just as a Gillette worldwide, Gillette worldwide is running a campaign on social media. They have a most expensive television. They made a commercial, which I think won huge awards worldwide. They didn't go on television. It's running only on Facebook. Runs their campaigns on social media. Yeah. The most expensive campaigns of Facebook go on social media. When did you see it on television? Hey, boss, you need to understand that that this has become a bigger uh, medium than television. Correct. Social media but is definitely digital. I won't say social. I said digital. The problem with Congress is, or most political parties is, the starting point is television. No, would... no I, I would, I would, I would slightly beg to differ here. I think. BJP, uh, to be very honest with you, are been, have been more benevolent towards social media. See, BJP has, has, has recognized influencers. They are encouraging influencers. They are trying to get influencers in their fold. They are, you know, uh, you know, completely brands yeah. and, and influencers. And have to do. Sorry? And you have been for 10 years? Yes. Yes. Let me tell you, today you talk of Gaurav Vallabh, right? Yes. You spoke about Gaurav Vallabh. Yes. He did a press conference, I think, at about 12 o'clock. Yes. 12 o'clock or 11.30. By 10.30, the media, the social media was on fire. Him walking in the BJP office, him meeting leaders. It came on television at 12 or 2, whenever he had the press conference. Correct. I'm talking of today, one, one full day today. Correct. They have already profiled him as joining BJP at 10.30, 11 in the morning. He was Correct. walking in the corridor, he met the leaders, all that was on social media. What stops Congress from doing like this? Correct. Come See, straight to a stupid press conference. Tarun, tell me, there is a lot of uh, question that people ask or professionals ask that should Congress be projecting Congress or should Congress be projecting India Alliance? What should be projected more? India Alliance as a as a as a group? No, India or... Alliance, you know, India Alliance for me is an irrelevant term. Hmm. Okay. It is like for all of us in WPP, IPG, these are holding companies. These Correct. companies don't deal with our clients. What deals with the client is the Lintas, JWT, those guys deal with the client. The same way, India Alliance is a holding company. But the, the interaction is with Congress, with TMC, with AAP, these are the partner, DMK. Uh, these are the people who are dealing with the consumer. So obviously, you have to promote those names. Yeah. Correct. Correct. I uh, just want to take one question because uh, KBPS. I don't know uh, his name. If he can write his name, I would. I can. I can call him. Call out. Uh, uh, he said he spoke about election commission uh, to file affidavit to Supreme Court that all VAT uh, machines uh, should be used in 2024 elections. Now, uh, just to tell you, I am trying to get the former election commissioner uh, on the show. So maybe today or tomorrow, or tomorrow or day after, I'm sorry, you will have the election commissioner on the show. You can please put up the same question there. I will take up this question with the election commissioner and uh, he'll be able to answer this question. Uh, uh, KBPS, I, uh, Tarun and I are not uh, uh, qualified to answer this question. Just to, but clarify, you know, just to clarify that question, I think the Supreme Court yesterday or today accepted a petition on this job, on this subject. Correct. They have accepted the petition, yeah. but something happening there. Correct. That's what, correct. That's what I said. We'll get that uh, uh, very soon. Now, Tarun, coming back uh, to our story, our brand story. Tell me, um, how did you? How do you? How would you rate? We've done so many activations together, haven't we? For so many years. How would you rate uh, uh, what Rahul Gandhi did? This entire first Bharat Jodo and then Bharat Jodo Nayatra. How would you rate these two activation projects? I think it is fabulous. I think it's absolutely fabulous. I think it's he, he at some stage would have realized that his image is very important for his party. And his image could not be fixed by talking mm -hmm. about it. His image had to be fixed by doing it. Correct? It is like that thumbs up car, they do a blind challenge uh, across all the cities. Thumbs up does Correct. a blind challenge. Correct. They call you somewhere and they make you drink two drinks. And if you guess which is thumbs up, then you get something for it. Correct. Yeah. Taste the thunder. Taste yeah. the thunder. Correct. Yes. Correct. 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 Congress, correct. Rahul Gandhi decided that this thunder is my problem. I have to resolve it. Now, either can Congress party resolve it 
not the people around me who are my best friend who ran away most of them ran away uh, yeah all of them ran away in fact <laughs> <laughs> it is now my job to fix this problem so he fixed it i think it, it, he did it for him it was a test at the moment i just think in the second part of the yatra which is your nyay yatra when you add bharat jodo nyay yatra you should have explained nyay on day 1 what it meant correct you explained it at the late, when you entered maharashtra which is quite late correct tell me let's be let's let's talk about bharatiya janata party you see uh, mr narendra modi also does a lot of activations each of his any project of his any visit of his any uh, 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 tour of his is an activation project by itself there is nothing other than activation project everything is well staged well managed and brilliantly presented tell me how much has it helped uh, bharatiya janata party <clears throat> you know sujit globally bill gates mark zuckerberg india in india we have anand anand mahindra these guys all do it 24/7 i think modi sees himself as a ceo of india so he's got a whole team whose job is only amplify what he's doing because he is the brand ambassador for his party yaar and he also realized that when he keeps inaugurating stuff you know there's there's a very good insight here when you keep inaugurating stuff it basically creates an impression that you have built lot of infrastructure correct nobody is bothered when it was started who started it nobody is bothered what people look at is who's inaugurating and mr modi has understood that trick so every day he will inaugurate something every day and now till the elections come he will do it even more that's a beautiful insight yeah. that's beautiful yes. insight Ina- inauguration is equal to prosperity remember one thing in the optics of politics inaugurate stone laying is a very boring thing nobody is interested because in every project there are 25 stones laid correct correct <laughs> inauguration is a completion which means something has finished and what mr modi does i have inaugurated for my country but who started it the so, tam- tunnels in kashmir we started 20 years back yeah correct but in people's mind it is mr modi has done it so it's okay this this all okay i'll give you this uh this setu link whatever atal atal link that uh, one that goes to alibag it's a 20 year old project that sea link from uh, narayan point Uh, Ali Bag, correct, correct. correct. But correct. he got inaugurated during that time. He came inaugurated, made look like he did it. It's okay. Correct. That's okay. correct. There is one more very interesting question by Santil Kumar. Uh, I presume he would be from uh, Tamil Nadu. He says uh, activation like talking lies in that uh, uh, also smart way uh, things like. I think what he meant is uh, you know the fact that. it's been made to believe or it's 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 the the activation the current uh, the current narrative is that uh, 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 bharatiya janata party is doing humongously well uh, in tamil nadu uh, you know in fact uh, the people like uh, prashant kishor who added that uh, when he said that uh, uh, bharatiya janata party may get a double digit in tamil nadu this time around but whether the fact is that or not one may has to wait and watch a uh, lot of experts say no some experts say could be now the point is yeah isn't that a beautiful way it's isn't that another beautiful example of activation tool yeah are mr modi has to win something in tamil nadu because in 2019 he did a he did a, a virat kohli he got all the 100 seats everywhere he got 100% in rajasthan 100% in up 100% in haryana 100% in maharashtra he may not get that in 24 he knows that so obviously he has to get it from somewhere else so he is focusing on tamil nadu uh he's focusing on correct other students. correct tarun uh, i have a viewer who writes to me as to how to block your channel you know i'm so surprised he, i mean uh, this very respected viewer knows how to type a comment but he doesn't know how to block the channel it is a it's a very simple process i guess uh, you know <laughs> you can do it right away oh. if you so wish acha tell me uh, my last question tarun we have come to the end of the program my last question to you see what happens to brands like patanjali to brands like uh, baba ramdev what happens to brands like this when it comes to bharatiya janata party because see this is 
it will harm India. We spoke about it. This also harms Bharatiya Janata Party. We saw how that uh, uh, Pragya Thakur, uh, you know, uh, her comments harmed Bharatiya Janata Party. This time around, she doesn't even have uh, 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 a ticket. She is not even been given a ticket in uh, uh, Bhopal anymore. So, how 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 much is such uh, how much are such brands going to harm the the interest of Bharatiya Janata Party? I think the I think the the BJP establishment has realized that these are all harmful uh, inputs for their brand. They themselves are ignoring them. Pragya Thakur is a great example. Uh, the guy or wrestling guy, whatever his name is, uh, he has not been given a ticket. So I think they are very careful. Uh, they are very careful. I think 24 they are extremely conscious of who they are giving tickets to. Uh, so I I it won't harm them anywhere. Best is to ignore. I think that's what they'll do. They'll behave I like it's not their problem. They'll behave <laughs> like it's not their problem. <laughs> yeah, correct. Correct. Tarun, thank you so much. It was such pleasure talking to you and such a such an interesting talk. Let's catch up sometime uh, very soon and uh, let's talk more close uh, closer to elections. Yeah, uh, sure. See you, Tarun. Yeah. Thank you so, sure. much. Thank you so much. All the best to you, Sujit. God bless you. You too.